So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I'm going to showcase to you an exploit which will allow you as a brand new player or a low level player to get arguably the best staff in the game right off the bat. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring be sure to subscribe. Okay, so if you're new to the game or a relatively low level and you want one of the best staffs in the game for either later usage or just to wield right now because you've specced into intelligence because you want to be one of those majors, well, this video is 100% for you. Today, I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get a loose at Glintstone staff right off the bat. You glitch into the A-Boss room and grab this thing. It really is that simple. Now the only thing you need is your horse, your mount, your steed, your torrent. That's all you need. So as long as you have your mount, you can do this. It really is that simple guys. So what you need to do is head to this mark on a map right here. The Dragon Burnt Ruins. Now my map hasn't been discovered yet because this is a new character. But yeah, just head to where I go on the map right here guys. Once you get to this ruins, you want to come down into this, uh, this cellar, run straight forward, ignore all the rats, open the door, run to the chest, pop that chest open and just stand in that smoke. You will then spawn in at the Celia Crystal Tunnel, which is where we need to be. So from here guys, grab this chest to your left if you wanna, then follow the path I take on screen now. Out of this cave, just run straight out guys, ignore all the enemies, you probably get shot up the ass once, but you should be completely fine. Obviously activating the grace on your way out. So when you get to this point guys, as you can see this ginormous beautiful design castle on your right hand side and if we go up to it you can see there's actually a seal on the door. Now there's a little uh, like puzzle you have to solve in this area to remove this seal but there will be two bosses behind this one door who you will have no chance of taking out if you are low level in this game. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to glitch into the boss battle and once we are in there we can kill the bosses as they don't fight back. This will earn you loot, runes, you name it. So we want to come back to this point on the map right here, where we just was as we come out of that cave. From here, we're going to test your parkour skills on your horse, as you have to climb up these roots sticking out of this mountain, and then jump over the wall. So do as I do, guys, and run up this branch right here. Uh, just keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, and then do like a jump slightly to your right and then move mid-air left and do your double jump it's not it's not hard to be honest and you'll land up here now guys you want to go up one more slightly and be careful here because you can slip back down and now guys we want to push slightly right and jump onto this one sticking out here just like so now when we're here guys we want to jump off our horse our mount then walk to the edge of this branch and then turn and face the wall that we want to be jumping over from here guys we want to pull out our mount again and from here, we want to jump up to that left. So we want to jump forward, use a double jump, turn left. There you go. Simple as that. From here, guys, just come up here. And now it's as easy as just basically just taking our time here, going along this branch, going along these roots. Just go to this, as far as you can go. And then, guys, you want to jump up to your left again. So double jump forward, well, jump forward, then use your double jump and pull left. Here you may want to spam your jump just, just to get up a little higher. Just keep spamming guys until you get to this point I'm at. I mean it took me a while to be honest but it, it's definitely possible. If you keep spamming you won't fall back down either way. So you're good. And from here guys we're going to jump in that direction. 
just like so. And then guys, we just want to be careful when we jump down, take your time, just like I'm doing on the screen now guys. And then eventually people, you will end up within this boss battle on your mount with the two bosses here. But yeah, they don't react to you. So from here guys, you can kill them by whatever means you have. Any weapon, any summons, absolutely anything. Now for killing them, you'll get the Nox Flowing Sword, which is pretty decent by itself. But the room then behind will open up for you to open a chest. Within this chest, guys, there is the Lucet's Glintstone Staff, which is arguably the best staff in the game. Now the staff itself requires 52 intellect to use it. But what I will say is, guys, I have made an ultimate guide in leveling up for new players, which you see you get way beyond 52 in literally the first 15 minutes of the video easily guys it's no work whatsoever and i'll link that video down below that alone the first 50 minutes will allow you to wield this actual weapon so do check that out guys but there we have it people this is how you get arguably the best staff in the game right off the bat as a new player to this game from here guys just activate the grace point and then travel out of here by going to another grace simple as that also guys, credit to Silent9 for, I believe was the original uploader of this. It was sent to me via Twitter. I just thought I had to cover it for you guys, but he is the original uploader as far as I'm aware. You'll find his channel linked down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. But there we have it people. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out on Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.